What's going on, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here. Super quick video. Uh, how to do this new Tier 7 Relic Hunt event. Now, uh, before it actually didn't matter because the rewards were pretty anemic and it took more to invest in the hand characters than the rewards you're going to get. Now that they've basically tripled the amount of rewards you get for Tier 7, especially uh, with the orange gear, totally worth it. So, uh, I have a video. Uh, clearly, I've three started. You're going to see me three start. I recorded the video on my phone. I'm gonna play it here and kind of give you a play-by-play -play of what happened, pausing where I need to. But ultimately, this is a team that I use to do it. So we're just gonna go straight into watching the video. Text, feel free, read it if you want. You've probably seen it. Uh, but if you haven't done use, if you're not even there yet, this is gonna get you prepared. So I have a 200k team. Notice I'm not using Electra or Hand Blade Master. Uh, that is a style choice. The reason I chose the characters I did is because they do the most actual damage with the most utility for the team. Load screen. Basically, uh, Electra is great, but she doesn't have enough focus and you start getting a little cocky with her. And her ult doesn't actually do a lot of damage, per se. So we're going to pause the second it starts to kind of look at the setup. So I have Hand Sentry as far away as possible. Now you wa probably want to hide everybody, but Hand Sentry himself isn't very tanky. So you want to save that to make sure you're saving characters. You also want to use it when there are less opponents on the other side, so he's not taking a ton of damage. Hand Assassin and Nobu are there. Uh, Hand Assassin actually does really good target damage, but she's also kind of necessary to unlock Phoenix pre-Hella time, so she was one of those characters that kind of got double-dipped for getting value in. And Nobu gives you a chance to res in case something goes wrong. Now, if every single character who, on their side who's about to take a turn targets like, the same character, they're probably going to die. There's a little bit of RNG. Uh, I did this with a 200k team. You'd probably feel super comfortable at like 250k, but ultimately uh, the core of this team has got a healer, which is very necessary. Trust me, if you try to do this without hands sentry uh, to protect or hand sorceress to keep your guys healed, you're going to have a bad time. Hand Archer's going to remove some buffs, which is incredibly relevant. Uh, and Nobu, you're going to see that you don't really rely on his counterattacks too often, but there's an opportunity for you to use it when it comes up. Um, let's just go into the fight. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to target Captain America because I don't want to ever be stuck behind him with defense up. Um, you'll notice that oh, the hits are coming in, so I'm pretty weak, but I'm not dead yet. Kill Captain America immediately. Throw up a heal to keep a little bit of sustain. And yes, thankfully, the lowest minions got the defense up, so everything went well. Now we're going to target these single target damage dealers. Because that AoE, while it does clear buffs, doesn't actually hurt that much. I'm going to get them out of the fight as quickly as possible. Now I'm going to keep that guy alive with that stealth, like we said. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to take him down way before I have to worry about him doing a major counterattack. This one, just basic through, kind of wastes a little bit of time. Uh, you don't actually want to force the next phase that quickly, so you're just using basics and just making sure you can do whatever you can to start the next phase as much as possible. I'll just pause to go into it. So here, there's going to be a lot of different schools of thought. You can either take out um, Hand Blade Master because he's the single target damage dealer. You could take out... Uh, hand Sentry, because he's going to keep everybody protected. You can take out Red Skull to prevent energy from being thrown around. There's no real right or wrong answer. It depends on what you have available in your tank right now. Like, I'm not going to use uh, my ultimate to do a little bit of damage to everybody, because both Nobu and Red Skull will summon characters. And I'd rather use that you know, AoE to clear or do as much damage to them as I possibly can. We're going to start with him. Now, no one's going to be able to clear any be any buffs unless that Nobu happens to summon one. And he's going to go down. I have a dodge on my weakest character, so I'm not terrified of him. But I've just turned this entire fight into a 5v3. Now, granted, Nobu just summoned minions. Hand Sentry's about to go and remove basically all of the value by hiding them. Then Red Skull's going to summon minions. So... I'm trying to line it up so that when my Nobu takes his turn, he should have a, you know, summon left. But I'm going to have enough counters, enough control of the fight that I've lasted long enough that I can finally heal with Hand Sorceress as soon as I can. Let's see what happens. Uh, 
My team is a little bit more stable now. I'm going to try to get this Red Skull down as quickly as possible. I uh, One lucky crit, and I definitely could have killed him. I didn't, so we got to summon up. Things are getting a little bit questionable. Now, here's an AoE. The main purpose of that was to just splash the damage on everyone I could. That counter doesn't actually matter, because I'm going to kill these characters as soon as they show up. Now, we're going to work on the only character that's a threat, which is Nobu, Hand Sentry. Basically, just weak damage. Try to get Nobu down as quickly as possible. Using the Summon Minions abilities, literally on cooldown, because they're always one hit away from death anyway. This is a scary moment. If I didn't have that dodge from that hand sentry hide, I might have gotten counterattacked to death, but I didn't. Of course, a res happened. I'm lucky that this is the first res. I'm able to take him down with a little bit of style points and call it a fight. So that was, I, I did it the fight about a total of seven times. You know, uh, I had already three started the first fight I did. And then I lost the fight, and I just wanted to make sure I understood what the best parts of the fights were before I recorded this video. Uh, now, you can obviously replace pretty much any character with a different character, but the, the only character that I think is inherently useless on this team is Hand Assassin. She would be Electra if you happen to have an investment in Electra. I just happen to have a stronger Hand Assassin, so I used her. Uh, now we're going to go into the actual characters and i'm going to show you like what they are and why they're at the point there now they're it's a 200k team which is roughly you know 40k each character uh we'll see how i got to that 40k and how you might have a different approach or how you may have to do something differently sort by hand real quick and you'll see here's my hand team just a real quick look at them uh, hand Assassin, I have quite a bit of red stars on my hand team. Uh, what I used was instead of putting more gear into the hand characters to get them all to about 40k, I leaned on my red stars to kind of make the difference. This is a little bit dangerous normally, but since this event literally only has to be 3 starred once, I prefer to use the least possible since hand is not getting reworked anytime soon. Uh, maybe next year if we're lucky. So this is the core of the team. What you can't see is my Electra. She's 34k, she's level 53, Hand Blade Master level 50, haven't even spent the 500,000 gold. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, but ultimately, Hand Assassin, Electra, and Hand Blade Master are all completely replaceable. The core four of that team is Hand Sorceress, Hand Archer, Hand Sentry, and Nobu. Uh, Hand Sentry, if I had made him stronger, he might have become a little bit tankier, but he never would have done more damage. Nobu, you'll notice there were times where I chose to use his basic, more importantly, to make sure the character went down, then necessarily summon another character. You'll always have an opportunity to. Uh, hopefully, Nobu will give you a res if something goes wrong. That's why he's very important to this fight. Just, you know, you have to rely on RNG, so hopefully some positive RNG goes your way as opposed to just avoiding the bad RNG. And we're going to look at each individual character and show the investment. Uh, as I said, Hand Assassin's replaceable, but uh, because I have 5 star, I got away with her at gear tier 9. I don't think you can argue with 6664. I think you need all of the abilities at the highest possible, you know, attack or heal or whatever they do as you can. I think there's maybe a couple of exceptions, like if it adds dodge, you might be able to avoid it. But, you know, dodge might be the difference between three star and two star for you. So you'll notice I really don't have much of an investment in her. The red stars really pushed her over. But realistically, that fifth red star probably made the difference of her being gear tier 10. And if you only have like a two or three red star... You may want to push her up a little bit to 11. It's unfortunate to use the Mystic Gear on these characters, but if you are looking to get the most possible SBCs and superior Catalyst parts you can, you want them all around 40k. Um, nothing really crazy around here, but that's just where she is. Now, if it's an Electra, she has more uh, abilities, so it would cost more. Same thing with Handblade Vest is about the same, no big deal. Uh, the rest of the characters, you'll notice... They're all about gear tiered 9 or 10. They all are 664 on all of their abilities, and their various red stars are keeping them going. I'm using red stars in lieu of gear. If you don't have red stars, you might have to spend a little bit. But ultimately, here's my Electra. I just didn't want to spend the resources to bring her up. Neither did I want to spend the 500,000 gold or the resources and the gear to bring up Hand Blade Master. If you happen to have them there already, that's fine. Please just remember, you don't need her hand assassin and electra 
uh, hand, you know, Electra, Handblade Master, and Hand Assassin. You just need some of them, you know. You just need one of those, and then the other core of the team will keep it going. And everyone has their value. Hand Archer has his value because he's an AOE that you desperately need. Sure, you may summon one with Nobu, but it won't be as strong. Nobu is necessary for his res chance as well as his ability to make more characters, which gives your team a better chance of surviving because there's more targets that can be hit. It's kind of like how CM always targets Greg when Hell is on the fight, that kind of thing. Um, just remember the targets that are important and why when you go into the fight. But ultimately, 200k was enough. I'm sure that there are some people that were capable of doing it for a little bit less or maybe a little bit more. Um, you don't want consistency. This is not the kind of, this is not a raid. This is not a, uh, an event that you have to constantly do. Because you have the benefit of autoing, you want to, and because Hand is not a great team outside of this one particular event, if you can bring that team to about 200k, assuming they're all about 40k with you know, if you had luck on your side, you might be able to pull it off with uh, a very strong, off the top, hand sentry and hand archer, or hand sorceress and hand archer, uh, just to make sure that the team could survive. Since since this fight is about survival and not necessarily about uh, learning the mechanics of the fight, it's better. But like I said, because you don't have to three, like do this fight every time it comes up, because you have to three-star at once, just like any other campaign node, and because these characters don't have any value outside of this one event, it's probably in your best interest to avoid being silly and over-investing in these characters, just to lose out on the value of clearing it the first time. Uh, other than that, uh, good luck. You know, if you, if you manage to just... Uh, beat the seven star event the first time, let me know what your team was. Let me know if you used Electro. Let me know if you didn't use a character that I said was incredibly important. Uh, you might be able to get away without Nobu uh, because you just might not need him. I don't know, that's up to you. But uh, that's what I used and you saw how it worked. You saw the targets, hopefully that helps. Comment below, let me know if you did something differently or if this helped you. Anyway, have a good night, have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli and I'll catch you later.